You're watching Spooky Noodles Channel. Subscribe or be my victim. Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy Spooky Noodles. And I just realized I don't have anything set up for this. Um, yep, but today we will be reviewing Into the Wolves' Den by John Athan. I'm excited about this book. You should too. So after this little intermission, I will come back with and be more prepared. So here we go. Hold on one second. So basically I am loading up my computer and it had an update. So it's running a little slow. So I apologize, but um, we will be back shortly. <laughs> now the camera's falling over. There we go. So we will be back very shortly. Okay, so first we will read the synopsis and then we will delve into my review and then we'll just talk about it a little bit. So here we go. What would you do to protect your family? Keith Klein, a beat, a beat cop in the small New Mexico town of Montano, sets out to find his missing daughters after they vanish on their way home from school. He enlists the help of Gerald Greenwood, an old friend and a private investigator. When their investigation stalls and des desperation creeps in, Keith's methods become unorthodox, illegal, and extremely violent. Meanwhile, Keith's daughters, 14-year-old Carrie and 8-year-old Allison, Witness horrors beyond imagination at the Wolves Den, a house in the middle of nowhere. In that house, a group of psychopaths in animal masks introduce snuff films and other disturbing contents to for their clients across the globe. <laughs> Can't talk today. John Ethan, the provocative author behind Dr. Sadis and Love Sick, which is another one I need to read, delivers another dark and disturbing horror novel filled with mystery, suspense, and gore. Can you handle a visit to the wolves' den? And it says, warning, this novel contains graphic content. Reader discretion is advised. So now we will go to my review. So here we go. I'm here. So, um, yep, um, here we go. <laughs> Here's the review. This story was gut-wrenching, but that ending was so satisfying. Into the Wolves' Den, it was such, or is, such a provocative read. I'm giving this one five stars easily. It was very difficult, dark, it's, it was, it was, it, was, it was a very difficult dark read, since it is about human tra trafficking of tr children. I cannot read today, but it had a very, very satisfying ending. John Athan is a fantastic writer who isn't afraid to go balls to the wall with his stories. The content in this book was dark, disturbing, and I promise you it will hurt your heart. I was cheering for the father, horrified for the children, and then I felt resolve with that ending. This book, although very hard to get through because of the disturbing content, was amazing. Easily a five-star read for me. So... Yeah. Um, so I'm going to turn now to you guys. So um, Into the Wolves' Den. What is it about exactly? Well, you heard the synopsis. You heard my review. But I'll tell you a little bit more. Um, so it's about these two kids. And actually, there's a third kid involved. But I can't tell you about the third kid, really. Um, but um, there's some girls. And they're abducted by... Um, people in masks and they are um well tortured basically and um it's very very hard to read this book being a pseudo dad if you will now I'm not gonna say like you know my dog's my child or anything like that but I did once date a girl with a kid with a kid and for eight months I helped take care of that kid and it it tur it turned my stomach to know that this stuff does kind of happen today you know th it's not like a fake thing that does you know this this is human trafficking is real so 
you know, there's a real sense of fear in this book. There's nothing like, this is a psychological read, um, and a gruesome one at that, an extreme psychological read, and, um, there's no, no, like, ghosts, haunted houses, no monster, you know, the, the monsters are humans, and this is a really real book, and, um, I give kudos to John Nathan for being able to write something this disturbing, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it disturbed me, I, not a lot of books can do that, this one made me squint out of gross, <laughs> in this um like um there's there were scenes where i was just like oh oh can i handle this can i handle this it was like pushing the envelope for me but um in the end i was i enjoyed it <laughs> i know that's probably saying something about me but um i enjoyed the brutality of some things but then i i just enjoyed how well the story was written in general it was a very well written story i really enjoyed it um Five stars, seriously, I can't rate this any lower than five stars. It's it's a it's a great read. Is it in my top ten? Maybe. Maybe. I'd have to go sit down and actually look at my top ten. But um I can tell you that it's not it's not exactly in the top five, but John Athan is in the top five with the taste of blood. That was an excellent coming of age story. This one was a, it was more I mean there was a little bit of a coming of age kind of sprinkle in there but, with the girls. But um it's mostly about a father trying to find his kids. Kind of like like a action-packed serial killer version uh like a, or an action-packed horror version of Finding Nemo, if you will. <laughs> I know that's a little bit of a jump, but um yeah, it's kind of like that. Except there's two Nemos and um what the Nemos witness is horrible and I I feel so bad for kids that don't even exist. But um yeah, it was a really excellent read. He pulled out so many emotions out of me, and I love when books pull out emotions in me. I don't, I didn't even know I had, you know. So, um, yeah, kudos to John Athan for disturbing me with an excellent written book. Um, I cannot wait to read Love Sick. I cannot wait to read Love Lorn. I cannot read wait to read uh, Our Dead Girlfriend. I can't wait to re read the um. A Boy's Possession, I think it's called. There's so many John Ethan books I'm looking forward to. I actually just got The Law of Retaliation, I think it's called. And I got the audiobook, and I can actually start that right away. But um, I'm I'm looking through my audiobooks and trying to decide what my next one was. Be oh, by the way, the guy who narrated this book, I forget who narrated it, but holy smokes, it's so well done. Um, I enjoyed every minute. The guy's voices were really good, even though his voice for Riley is like, I have an impressive voice, and it just sounds really nerdy, so that was a kind of confusing, you know, at times. He's like, I am an attractive man, and it's like, with that voice, you're gonna be a star? <laughs> so, it was, but, um, I, but overall, this is the voice he made for Riley it made me hate him even more. <laughs> So it's, I'm happy that he did that voice for Riley, but at the same time, it was like, it sounded more of a nerdy, dorky voice than a attractive model, you know? But other than that, the narration was perfect. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, John Nathan is one of those authors that I'm slowly, slowly inching my way towards, and he's probably cowering in a corner. No, I'm just kidding. He, he, um, he, <laughs> I'm inching towards him, and reading more of his books, and he, he's starting to climb the list for my favorite authors. Um, I think he's tied for fifth right now with Don, uh, Daniel J. Volpe. Um, most of my list contain a lot of my friends. Um, Ronald Kelly's my first favorite author. Then John Wayne Cominale is my second. Aaron Beauregard's my third. Fourth. Excuse me. I think I gave that to Graham Masterton because I love the Manitou and I love the Gin. Those are the only two books I've read by him so far, but two awesome books um and then it would be daniel j volpe and john Ethan. now john Ethan may climb that list the more i read him you know i've read two good books by him and grand masterton's only has two books i like by him right now too so john Ethan can easily one up grand masterton eventually but um yeah uh have you guys read this book it's called into the wolves den um i'll i probably have a picture on the screen um into the Wolves Den by John Athan. What did you think about this emotional, impactful read? It's 
uh, I know, I don't know about you guys, but human trafficking is a very real thing in Michigan, especially child trafficking. Um, I've seen too many people, not actually seen, but I've, I've seen a lot of missing people in Michigan. It's very awful. I think it's because we live on the border of Canada. I'm not really sure though, but human trafficking is a real thing here. And, um, there's a lot of girls who get picked up and never see home again. So it's a very ser sad and serious thing. And uh, I feel like John Ethan handled it very well, considering the content he was br co coming into this, you know, like what content he had on our, the platter for us, you know. Uh, I feel like he handled this the trafficking thing pretty well. Um... And that's it. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Um, I know I am having a great day so far. I woke up in a great mood. I always kind of wake up in a good mood, but you know, it's always welcoming to have a good mood to start the day, you know, and I try to make my days positive. I mean, I start off with a hundred meter and then it's the little things that niche, uh, knit, uh, attack that bar, if you will, um, and make it drop. But, um, Every day I'm refilled with 100%, you know, I'm always in a good mood, unless I'm like sick or something, but uh, um, even then I'm I'm just happy to be alive, so, and um, I hope you guys are too, so um, I hope you guys have a great day, I hope you have a spooky night, I'll catch you in the next video, peace out.